got into music at a very early age playing piano, um, but I really got into film and TV music uh, through a lot of the BBC natural history documentaries um, that had some great orchestral scores and still do. Um, and, uh, and it just went on from there really. I think, well, the inspiration was I had to deliver it in about two days and the air conditioning was off and it was that heat wave we had about three weeks ago and I have four Mac Pros that kick out 2500 BTU each and uh, I had to get it done before I died. The cues today, I had three cues. Um, they're all similar but slightly different from each other. Um, they are all fairly large scale. There's a lot of elements uh, and they all have a different kind of energy um, to them. They all come from a slightly different angle. Uh, some of them we started with the electronics, um, some of them we started with the orchestral part first, uh, and then the two met in the middle somewhere. But they're all serving a similar purpose, which is that larger than life trailer experience. Um, I think my cues, they have certain elements that will draw them to certain types of movies. There's a little bit of a sci-fi supernatural element in one, there's uh, a little bit more of a, um, almost a spy element in another. Um, and, uh, and one of them is just a bit more traditional fantasy, so uh, they'll draw themselves to the, the right kind of trailer. I'd love to continue working in trailers, for sure. Um, it's very exciting and there's always a very high production quality to a lot of it. It has to be high and um, as a composer you can't really ask for much more than that. I think it's to do with creative freedom in a way. Trailers, you're just trying to invent something almost. You're trying to give someone something that's going to spur their imagination um, and latch on to something that they find intriguing and, and you know doing a documentary or something it's all about reinventing what's basically already on the screen but in a musical way and, and staying out the way and not to being too prominent and trailers just couldn't be more different to that I mean they're very much music driven in the edit this is my first trailer album so yeah uh, so I'm just kind of doing what I feel is is going to be useful. So what I take away from it as a musician is whatever catches my ear in reference to the picture. I don't sit down and listen to albums and albums worth of trailer music and systematically work out what's going on. One of the special things about this album is there's such a deep pool of composers on it that some of them don't necessarily do a lot of trailer music. Uh, some of them do very different kinds of music than uh, a seasoned library composer, so I think the, the value there is that they're just bringing their musicality to it and they're not following trends. I think that in itself keeps it current uh, in its own way. Uh, you're not just doing what was done six months ago. My name's Peter Bateman, I'm a composer here at the A-List Trailer Music Library.